my name is Sweat. Well, today we will be talking about who decides how long a second is. Well, you may think that it's really easy. A second is a tick of a clock. Click, click. Or maybe the time that it takes for us to count to one. Or time of a quarter drum to swing. But not so. If now you are thinking that it could be like that, then in the past, people could make a second to be two, or a second could be three. Like it could be really different than us now. Those are just things that are being made to follow the rules. Well, how do people in the past? Invented calendars and decides how long a second is. Well, it's not just like a clockly thing to them, but they think of it as a mathematically things that really will make you to really have to work your brain. And when you Well, in the past, those seconds were mathematics all doings. And people in the past want to make a second to be extremely clear. Well, what is clearer than atoms? Yes, so in that time, atom is the most successful thing that you could find when somebody's talking about clock and ding ding. Well, from the past to now, there could have been seconds or hours and hours and like billions, trillions hours that happen. Like one day there's 24 hours and imagine one year, how much hour would it be? Like in one year, it could be it could be eight thousand seven hundred sixty hours. And imagine in the past to now, where it's nearly, I don't take the times in the BC or in the DC. DC I just take it from the time that God was first born. Well, in that time, it is the zero year. And until now, it is 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 sorry. And it could be a big number with a lot of hours inside there could be hours if you're counting about a year well nobody really would stay to one two three four five so that they decide how long a second is for us it doesn't think of it as so not really but one day in the past, one day means, and now today it, it also is that one day mean twenty four hours. One day is the time for the Earth to rotate around the sun, and one day has twenty four hours. And they divided it. But why do they think about 24 hours? Because first, they think of atoms. One second is one atom going around. Well, if they really want to know that there's 24 hours in a day, like when we're rotating 
of the sun, then they have to come from seconds first. Then 60 seconds will be long enough. So that for 60 seconds minus 60 seconds multiplies by 60 would come to those 22 hours. Or if you are making it like 24 hours, what's it gonna be in minutes? Can I ask you? In seconds? And you're going to have a big one. It's gonna be about 14,400 seconds in a day. And so people start to divide it in six parts and in six parts. So that now we have a tick on the clock. And the time that we count to one. Well, why does a clock and a pendulum can have a time of one tick? Because we use the solar calendar. The solar calendar is now not very, very was a big thing that you could find in Vietnam. I don't know in other countries, but usually when you're asking what day is it, they would use the other calendar, not the solar calendar. But the solar calendar is kind of worldwide. I don't know in other countries if people prefer solar calendars or others. But solar calendar is the one that help us to understand more about who decides how long a second is. Well, today we've talked about how long a second is. I'll see you guys later.